What's up, everybody? It's your boy Charm City Gamer here, back with more WWE 2K20, my career action, the boosted star slash red up to 82, Ted slash try to 80. Alright, let's go. Chapter 15, what do we got? If only security had done their jobs that night, Samoa Joe never would have made it past the arena's metal detector. Sorry, just trying to keep it positive. Which is hard to do because. Our story wouldn't be complete without talking about one giant negative. I'm referring, of course, to the arrival of the American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun in WWE. Because of Brooklyn, our lives and careers would never be the same. Although if you think about it, they were pretty much the same as they'd always been because no matter where we went or what we accomplished, we could never escape Brooklyn's loud, obnoxious show. We gave Brooklyn a lot of chances to prove she had changed. Well, mostly traded. But ultimately, she only proved one thing. She was the exact same bully she was way back when we were in high school. And she wasn't just a jerk to us. She disrespected anyone she dealt with, including WWE legends. Is that all you got? It feels like you're taking a teacup poodle for a walk on my back. Excuse me, Miss Von Braun, can we talk? Can't you see I'm conducting important GM business? Come on, I really need you to get in there. Work it. It will only take a minute. What? I don't want my car washed or candy from your stupid kid's fundraiser or whatever crap you're selling. Actually, I'm the original American hero, Kurt Angle. You know, the Hall of Famer you borrowed your nickname from without asking? Come back in five with stronger hands. So what do you want? An autograph from the real American hero? A picture? Tell me what I need to do to make you go away. I need you to drop the lawsuit against me. If you don't, it will bankrupt my family. No chance. I'm the way more famous American hero. I will not allow you to continue profiting off my celebrity. I won a gold medal for my country with a broken freaking neck. What have you ever done that makes you an American hero? Uh, filed a trademark? Security! Wait, maybe we can settle this without lawyers. If there's anything that could change your mind, I do. Anything? Just so happens we have a superstar who was gone for a very long time and needs to knock off some ring rust. So I'll drop the lawsuit if you can beat Samoa Joe. But Joe's a monster. He's got that bionic arm that could tear me apart. And I haven't competed in years. Samoa Joe hasn't competed in years either. So it should be a competitive match. Good luck. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. Nice right hand. He looks like he went really pop up was us over there. Since you like getting involved in my business so much, maybe you should pay all the legal bills for the lawsuit I have to drop now. Yeah? Well, you messed with us in the best of five series, and that cost Red her title. So I'd say we're even now. Is that what you think happened? I signed Samoa Joe because he was unfairly let go from WWE, not to mention he's a great addition to the roster. But I had nothing to do with him costing you the series. I don't control him. No one can. Which is something you should be very worried about. So if you're not out to get us, then prove it. Give me a rematch for my championship that I lost without ever being pinned. Let me think about that. No. That's what I thought. But what I will do is give the audience something new and fresh. Trey, you're going to face Adam Cole next week for his WWE Championship in a no disqualification match. See? Maybe I'm not so bad after all. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to go find someone else I can sue to recoup my losses.
the following contest. <laughs> Ironic, we're both using the same song. So. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. God, I love when he does that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We all love it. As he goes one on one with Adam Cole for the WWE Championship in a no disqualification match. Honestly, I'm surprised Brooklyn put Trey in this position, especially after he got involved in the Kurt Angle Samoa Joe match last week. Everyone thinks they know Brooklyn and her intentions, but she said it herself. She's made an entire career out of defying expectations. It's what led her to success in mixed martial arts, and I predict it will also benefit her greatly in WWE. Elusive movement there. Man, what a slam. Back now inside the ring. Six. Seven. This isn't going to be good. Inverted DDT. Hang on, it's being stupid. Claim Adam Cole received before invading NXT is something Whoa. everyone should know about. It even included battles against undisputed era member Kyle O'Reilly. Now I can finally get the chair. There's nothing better than two superstars battling with a title on the line. But when it's the WWE World Heavyweight Championship at stake, the stakes don't get any higher. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Hooked up. Back suplex. You mentioned, Corey, that Adam Cole's impressive career before coming to NXT included locking up with O'Reilly. Adam also battled the likes of Shinsuke Nakamura, Kevin Owens, and Roderick Strong. There were also matches against Johnny Gargano and Cedric Alexander. Guys, Adam so Cole's response from the crowd at his NXT TakeOver Brooklyn debut appearance was not an accident. Trey has Adam Cole in trouble. Hold on, what is Samoa Joe doing out here? Whoa, what the heck? That makes no sense whatsoever. What are you doing? Cover him. I'm not going to win like that. Fine. And now Samoa Joe with the attack on Trey. It seems Samoa Joe wants Trey to win the match, and he's going to do anything he can to make it happen. Count it now. I'm not sure why Samoa Joe did what he did, but as a result, Trey is your new WWE champion. I really have no explanation for this either. As far as we know, Samoa Joe has nothing but contempt for Trey. So why would he help him win the WWE Championship? Hopefully we'll get some answers soon. Yeah, this makes no sense. Unless he wants to win it off Trey himself. Hey, there it is. We need to be championship. Damn it! I wanted to earn this. Now everyone's gonna look at me like I'm some kind of fluke champion. Again! I know you're frustrated, but maybe it's not that bad. Besides, if you defend it enough, then people will respect you. Seven years. Seven years ago, you took what was mine, and I never got to take it back.
You know, a lot of significant life events can happen in that amount of time. Birthdays, holidays, funerals, and I miss them all. Because for over 2,500 days, one thing has consumed me, revenge. I even augmented my body to ensure that when the time came, there would be nothing that stopped me from destroying you. So now, we're so close. I helped you win this championship for one reason only. So I can finally take back what you took from me. But that doesn't even make sense. It's not the same title. Don't! Don't say that. It's the same. It's exactly the same. Seven years, and the surgery, and the pain, and I am going to take it back. Hey, you want to tell me what that was all about? I had nothing to do with it. You think I wanted to win the title like that? I don't think you give a damn as long as you're champion. I want my rematch. I promise I'll make this right. Okay, chump. <laughs> okay, Trey, how about we do that right now? No, Trey, Trey, let's go. <laughs> Joe, you are such an instigator. Okay, so why does he want the WWE title? What trade was the universal title? Why does he want the WWE title? Trade? From the outside, my life looked pretty good. I was WWE champion, and I was about to team with none other than Ronda Rousey in the Mixed Match Challenge. The truth is, I couldn't enjoy any of it. I had a maniac breathing down my neck who'd spent seven years planning my demise. But at least my title defense against Adam Cole would take place in a steel cage so that psychopath couldn't interfere. Or so I thought. Introducing... It's not often that a newly crowned champion defends their title for the first time in a steel cage. But that's exactly the situation Trey finds himself in tonight against Adam Cole. Usually the purpose of a steel cage is to keep two opponents inside, but in this case, I think the intention is to keep Samoa Joe on the outside if he were to get involved. Honestly, after everything we've seen from Samoa Joe since he returned, I'm not sure that a steel cage is enough to keep him at bay. Reversal. I gotta say, I'm impressed. Oh, what a neck breaker. Cover by the challenger. Plenty of fight left. He is not gonna go down without a fight, Michael. Didn't even get a count there. I'd like to inform the WWE Universe that they need to remember that Adam Cole has dominated the ranks of every promotion he competed in before honoring NXT with his presence. And don't ever forget. Let's hit the storm cell and go home. Come in here. Tough situation to be in right here. Right to the back. 
That's one way to do it. is still undisputed for a little while longer. Cover! An easy kick out for Adam Cole. Gonna take more than that. Why won't you stay down? For the championship! Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. Lightning fast reflexes. What a forearm! Down with a brain buster! That'll scramble your brain! A striking blow! He just cannot be caught! Clothesline takes him down! Forget about- Okay, I'm trying to see what- I need to the possible one. Yeah, right trigger, and then B for the pin. Got it. Hook them up. Yeah, suplex. You got a feel for Adam Cole. Look, he's beaten down at this point. He's done. He looks utterly helpless inside that steel cage. Adam Cole isn't looking like much of a playboy now. Saxton, you've never seen a playboy in your entire life. <laughs> he's right. Avoiding trouble there. Ooh, tossed with the suplex. Okay, storm cell. Getting not good for the back and body. Cover! Two count and an air fall. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Adam, I love you to death, but stay down! And after this, you will. Set in, set up. Oh, no. Blizzard bomb. Good night. Referee in position. There's two. Later on my own. Here is your All right. Still champ. What happens next? Great job defending your title against Adam Cole. Thanks. More importantly, I showed everyone I didn't need Samoa Joe's help to do it. You have anything left in the tank for your mixed match challenge later? Honestly, I'm running on fumes, so I'm kind of hoping Ronda carries our team tonight. Hmm. By the way, do you even have a partner yet? No. Brooklyn's making me wait until the last minute to find out who it is. Typical. Well, whoever it is, we might have to face each other at some point, which is going to be weird. I know. But FYI, I just put win mixed match challenge on the list, and I plan on being the one who crosses it off. We'll see. I'll go to hub menu, which means I can call it quits for this episode. So till next time, you guys know what to do. Follow me on Twitter at Incorrect Bailey and talk to my YouTube channel at Trump City Gamer for more. Till next time, peace out everyone.